All right, Isaac, we're gonna have a great day today. First, we got a cannabis workshop for the new cannabis industry here in Paris at the City Hall. A lot of my clients will be there. Uh, head of the cannabis department in Paris will be there, Kenneth Fung, he's pretty cool. You're gonna like him. Uh, should be a big turnout. After that, we're going over to the Paris Union High School District, hear about this bond measure they're gonna try to pass that's gonna rebuild Paris High School and also benefit high schools in Nuevo, like the bridge. And as you know, I'm a big supporter of the bridge, so I wanna see what I can do for the school district in that regard. And I think it's gonna be a nice little day. Had a great meeting with the fair people, uh, the Southern California Fair here in Paris. I know the CEO, Carl, he's pretty cool. And uh, some of the board members, Jaime Hurtado from the fifth district, my man, uh, we're gonna do a lot of special stuff for Paris Day at the fair this year, the day that Paris citizens get in free. I got a lot of surprises for uh, Paris citizens, and I just wanna make sure it's one of the best days we have here in Paris. We have a great community, and I really just love being a part of it. Love showing my affection for everybody here. Well, as a lawyer, I get to see pretty much everything that goes on around here to some extent. I get privy to a lot of cool information. I represent a lot of the folks in the city and to be able to give back and to really have those relationships in this city, it, it's just a source of pride. I, I especially have a heart for the students and the young people. It, it's just easy to give to, to that much greatness. It really is. You know, I love being a small town lawyer, but I, I would say any lawyer would benefit from just giving back, no, knowing where your value is, making sure to give back. You know, it's part of our professional responsibility as lawyers to give back. It's actually mandatory as a lawyer. So I really encourage all lawyers just to harness that and really fill into that. We, we have the capabilities to do great things. Like I was saying, I think it's important to give back. And I think I would do that whether I was a lawyer or not. I just think I'm situated with my skills bank and opportunity to give back. And uh, I really appreciate it. Want to do more this year. Want to do more with the Paris Panthers. Uh, I did reach out to Dr. Fowler of the bridge. Want to do more with the bridge this year. Just really want to encourage that next generation. Uh, that's where our power is. That's where our, you know, all our value is. That's for sure. This actually used to be the location of the original high school here in Paris back in the day, back when Paris was just a wee little farm town. A lot of folks don't know that Paris was the site of the biggest gold rush hit in Southern California. You know, that's why I wanna to try to see if they can rename the city, maybe the city of gold or something. Cause I'm really proud of that history and that culture. Do a lot of work with the local museums. I really appreciate you listening to us the other day. I think they might have had so much to tell you that when we finally got in front of you, we ended up talking at you instead of with you. And Kenneth, you have like the patience of a Kung Fu monk or something. Because we're over there just talking at him. And he kept trying to get a word in edgewise. And I, we had so much to say. But yeah, it, was, it was good. You know, I have little kids, so I have practice. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And then I do remember when, when you did present for the manufacturing and distribution, the whole industry does remember that some of your rebuttal was probably instrumental in moving this along. So I know we come at you with some criticisms a lot of the time, but we do recognize that, you know, you're, you're doing a great job and we do appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah. And I told them they better start telling you that, you know. <laughs> Certainly. I told myself the same thing. I said, you better tell Kenneth what you like about him. You stop being such a pain around here, right? Uh, I appreciate everybody coming. I appreciate that uh, you're interested in, in opening a business in the community, just like any other business. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to uh, support you as much as we can based on our ordinance. Uh, so as long as you operate within the ordinance, uh, uh, we support your business here. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciated a lot of the different opinions in there. Really appreciated Kenneth taking, uh, taking the time to hear everybody out as well. Um, well, right now we're still building the industry and today was the first dialogue with the city. Obviously the industry does not agree with them on their tax policy or compliance policies. 
we think it's act, actually just really hurting the industry, hurting our tax uh, base. So we think it's a bad idea, but this was the first time we actually met and discussed it. So we hope to have more dialogue and this is the beginning of maybe getting an effect or a change. I really appreciate all those business owners and CEOs taking the time out of their day to come down here. And too often in government, we discount the participation of uh, the private sector, just thinking they have nothing else to do. But all these folks do work, they do have families, they do have businesses. So when they come on out, they really want to get some dialogue. They really want to get some stuff done. So I, I, I was happy with it. Clients are happy with it. The industry's happy with the dialogue. So I appreciate that. But going back to the office, got to get a little work done, get ready for our next meeting, putting on another hat, going to support the school district and see how that goes. So I keep telling all the haters, dude, everybody knows everybody around here. It's a beautiful community in that respect. Off to Paris Union High School. Need to rebuild this Panther Stadium. It's so much fun. I kind of like being in the community, I think, more than I like anything else. Dude, dude networking's so easy. Just volunteer. Go out and do stuff. Um, Use your talents. I think if people just self-analyzed whatever their talent is and just used it, whether for money or for free, the more you use your talents, the better you are, they grow. And I think the Paris High School kids deserve it, but I'm also sensitive to folks' pocketbooks. So uh, I personally can afford $30 a year, so I think I'm gonna vote for it because I love the students around here. I love our community, but I am just asking folks to vote their heart and their pocketbook, do what's right for them and uh, you know where they stand. Let's go check it out. Is that Brooke? Brooke, is that you? No, I'm sorry. Misidentified. You look, you look like someone I know though. Okay. <laughs> All right. Holy smokes, what's going on in here? All right, Isaac, let's go to work. Get out of here. Let's check this out. So this is what we got here now. This is what we are looking at having, performing arts facilities. Wow, single point of entry, security in high school is very important right now. Single point of entry is gonna help us keep current in the security field for high schools. More parking in any type of California is great. The agricultural program in Paris is one of the top five in America. So we're very proud of our, I think, FFA programs. And uh, wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. You know, I announced the football games here at Paris High School. So to me, having some more sound equipment and a TV video program for the students would be awesome. But I understand that's not the flagship. That's not why we're here today. But it's those little things for me that make our community an exciting place to be, exciting place to live, and a really heartfelt community. This is. And the third way that I think schools add values to community is by empowering the hopes and dreams of the community. And what do I mean by that? If you think about it, people drop their children off at school, their children. And who doesn't work hard for their children? Who hasn't changed those diapers? Who hasn't put all of their hopes and dreams and intentions into their children? And what better way, I think, to respect and empower those hopes and dreams of our families than to provide a safe and successful environment where their hopes and dreams can be empowered. Uh, you know, you wake up in the morning, you never know when you're gonna give an impromptu speech about a ballot measure related to a bond measure, related to rebuilding a, a school district with $200 million worth of funds, Isaac. It just happens, right? Long day, turning life into good, you know? It always reminds me, you gotta be speech ready. That's why I do the meditation. I know I need to drop a little weight. No, I need to get my mind and body where it needs to be because you really never know when you're called to change your life. You never know when you're called to change a community and you gotta be ready for that challenge. I tell the students in the SPEAR program at the bridge, you gotta be ready for life at any second. 
whether you're called forth to love, whether someone hits you with some surprise news, whether someone says, hey, your dad just died or your mom just died. Are you ready to fully express and fully live in any moment of your life? And until you are, maybe you're not ready for the big leagues. That's why you gotta stay ready for anything life can throw at you. So, thought I could do a little better today and it leaves me a little room to grow for tomorrow. All right, guys, thanks for following me around today. Another day in the life of a small town lawyer and a change maker. We're gonna change the world together.